Hi, and welcome to another Dream Gear 75 and 1 adventure. Today we're playing Blocks World. Let's get started. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, okay, so this is one of these crazy games. Now, you can't, uh, you can't rotate and move at the same time, but if you turbo the B button, is it turbo? No. There's a way to, yeah, there we go. If you're trying to say do a speed run, if you, if you tap the controller right, you can get it to kind of jump the piece around. But we're not trying to speed run, we're trying to just win. And, uh... Yeah, we're not doing, uh... Oh, we gotta turn it a lot now. I was not making very smart moves there for... speedrun purposes, trying to demonstrate. And you don't actually get the most amount of time, so... If you don't figure it out on your first little bit, you're kinda... SOL. The first levels are really, really simple. Uh, they just trying to teach you sort of how to do it, I guess. But as you can see, we could stick this in uh, other places, but there's two ways to be that top one. You could use two L-shaped pieces, or you could use these two, uh, I guess they're called S. Oh no, they're uh, Z pieces. In Tetris terms. Or they're not Tetris, it's whatever the block thing's called. But these guys are going to go into these shapes. And I think we've got more than enough time here that I don't have to worry about trying to fudge the the number or the speed but you can see that like uh, that's how you do it you go up and down kind of a little bit in your controller will do a little jig and it kind of moves you a little faster there we go stage one is done on to stage three Alright, we're going to do a little more guessing here of how these work, but I'm pretty sure that's probably a safe bet. Where is this going to fit? There aren't many places. That's not right. That can't be good. Aha! See? You just work it out a little bit, you'll figure it out. And it leads me to what this should be. Alright, so this one's gonna go right here. I would think. This guy's definitely going directly here. Wish you could screen wrap. Uh, that'd be very helpful. The only place I could see this going is way up at the top here. Let's see if we can get the controller to show me pretty fast. Yeah, D-pad works a little better for trying to trick this thing. Alright, what are we doing here? Oh, I can't put it down. Okay, this was a mistake. Can I pick that back up? No, I can't! I need to move that! Oh, I was dumb about this game. Where's my take backs? I see the mistake I made and I want to fix it, but I can't. That's really harsh. Start doing anything? Oh, that's a broken pause if I ever saw one. Oh, there we go. You have to press A and B, but it moves it all the way back. That's going to cost us some time here. Let's try to move this quickly. There we go. All right. Got to figure it out. And we learned a sweet new move. I have played this before, but I didn't know I could do that. Stage three. I'm not, I think these might actually be random. Now, I'm not sure exactly for 100%, but I think this may be the piece that goes there. And these other ones are getting a little more complicated. This has got to be... Actually, they're kind of helping us out a bit by having so many of the same pieces. This has to go here. Two of those are reserved for that bottom left one. And one of these guys goes here. Come on, do the little shimmy. 
Let's see if we can move this quickly. The diagonals kind of work best for that. See if we can... Yeah, there we go. That's actually a great game if people wanted to try to be like, Oh yeah, I'm the speedrunningest guy ever here. So, I think I figured out this other one. If we flip that, we should be left with two... Zed shapes. Yep, you got level 3 solved way easier than level 2. So that's the thing about this, is that sometimes you try to complete a whole shape right away, but sometimes you're better off uh, just putting the pieces you know for sure and then coming back to it. I guess that's the same as everything in life, you know? Put the pieces in place that you're sure about, and then uh, you might just see where everything else needs to fall. Now, I'm 90% sure that this is going to be these guys. actually hear the train today. I wonder if that's going to be picked up by the microphone. I've... I don't know if I mentioned that I... Well, I mentioned that I moved. I don't know if I mentioned it was into an apartment that's, that's near train tracks. Normally the train doesn't bother me very much, though. Alright, I think we got this, uh, this one figured out, too. We get some of the... Some of the jive moves here, trying to... One thing I'm never gonna miss about the Dream Gear is the controller. This thing is a piece of garbage. Even if I could hack this thing and put ROMs on it instead, or whatever. oh no, that's not what I want to do at all. Crap. I'm trying to hit rotate. Um, even if you could hack this little Famicom clone and put ROMs on it, I wouldn't want to to have to play with uh, <laughs> with this this thing. Okay, that's figured like that. That should be pretty easy. Yeah, I think this this whole level is full of easy ones. It's more just the time of being efficient, putting all the pieces in place. See, that wasn't a very efficient move. This one's going down to the bottom left here. Yeah. Oh, that's the least efficient way of doing things. Come on, get going. Fast moves. Jump and jive. Oh, come on. Sorry if I'm bumping the desk here, I'm just trying to get this little speed glitch to work. There we go. We're not doing too bad, I guess. Three pieces and a third of the time left, we should be able to pull this off pretty easily. Doesn't work very well with one hand. I actually have to use two hands on the D-pad to try to trigger it. Oh, I messed something up here. Shit. All right, so for sure. Is there another one of these, these pieces? Oh, I might know how this works. Oh, I messed it up. And not till the end, I was bragging about how easy it was. Uh, try number two. Okay, so my new guess is that this is actually one of these guys. Yep. 
Yeah. Let's try that. This can only be this. It's the only piece that will fit there. But... Yeah, that couldn't be these guys. So I think this is... Yeah, see, they oh, they tricked us pretty good there. There was only one piece different that kept it from working. But I think I've got it this time. Game was clever, cleverer, more clever than I gave it uh, credit for here, and it cost me a chance. Hopefully there's not so many stages that I'm going to need all three chances. Because as fun as this game seems to be, it's... Uh... And you know what, there's a, there's a Game Boy game that I was considering playing for a little bit that's pretty much this, but it's 50 levels of this. But I didn't think that it would be interesting enough to do for... 50 whole levels. There we go. And even knowing what's up here, we came pretty close on time. You really don't have a chance if you go too far into your strategy. Alright. This, this is one we know for sure. It's going to be one of these guys. What is this even supposed to be? Sperm level 3? Maybe. Um, okay, this is going to have to go in one of these spots. But which one? Uh, I hope that's right. I think this makes sense. Yeah. That's pretty good. put that the wrong way. Oh, that might be one that you can do multiple ways. No, I think we're... Aha! See, so here's where I was thrown off. This three, I wasn't sure if it was going to be two of this piece or two of the other piece, but now seeing that I have these left, it's actually one of each. That's how they get you. But they gave us two of each type. Or at least two of one of types. No, two of each. So we could have easily guessed one or the other and been messed up. That's why I kind of left that alone, even though I could see... A couple ways of doing it. But look at this, we've managed to get our sperm to level three. We'll move on to level level seven. I wonder if they're gonna start drawing more things. Yeah, they're just kinda making weird shapes now. Alright, I would assume this is gonna be that. And that. Hope it's not a bad assumption, but not this. I'm gonna guess it's that. Oh, that's probably a bad guess. Oh, maybe not. Actually, do you know what? In all honesty, I think that this might be like this. See where I'm going with it here. Whoops, that's not where I'm going with it at all. I'm doing that. Now I think this is actually in the wrong spot. I was there. Yeah, no, I don't think I did this right. Uh, oh, no, I did. I did. I just got to get it there. No, I'm running out of time. Come on. Oh. That one piece in the wrong spot really threw me off. All right. So we got this for sure. We know what we're doing. Perhaps if I had started with the moose. And oh, maybe some moose and squirrel here. Flying squirrel. Um, I may have 
have been a little more successful, but... Now I'm just gonna move at whatever pieces I'm closest to and remember where they go. This one I think was... Yep, that was there. Come on, get up there. Let's take this piece and get it turbo timed over here. This game would be a lot easier with a mouse. Alright, alright, I think we got this. Ooh, I almost did the well I didn't do almost do the wrong move, but Kind of. And actually, this will be more efficient to put this on the left instead of the other one because I have to rotate. Probably should have grabbed the L shape block first. But here we go. End! Oh, perfect! We made it just in time. I'm Zerfall. We've been playing Blocks World. And next time, we're getting pretty damn close to the end of this. Hope to see you there.